Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Other Man's Life. My name is Ali. Thanks so much for clicking and watching. It means so much. So the best modular sets outside of the official Lego modular line, uh, in my view, in my opinion, are the Ninjago City sets. That line is just amazing. I fell in love uh, with this line and Ninjago in general um, all the way back in 2018 and I was so lucky that I got into Lego at that time because that is when the city docks and the city main city set was released and I could pick them up. Um, this year I finally managed to pick up the latest one, the Markets Boy, this big box of the market one um, from Lego. Um, I got it delivered because it wasn't available in the shop. I was really gutted because that was my January, the first ex uh, big shopping trip that I usually do. And I usually like to big, make a big purchase that day, but it wasn't in the shop, so I had to order it online. So the magic was gone. <laughs> but in any case, I bought it and I built it and finally built it. And I was really thinking about it. I was reflecting back on what, how the set looks uh, when I combine it with the rest of them and the whole experience. And something was really bugging me and this is why I'm making this video because uh, the price of this set is not cheap. It's retailing at 320 pounds. So this is the most expensive one out of all of them at, uh, at their uh, recommended retail price. The, the gardens, which is also available, is £20 cheaper at £300. And the original City one, when that got released at time, at, at uh, 2017, I think it was, it was 260 Okay, I know inflation and price hike and all this stuff and piece counts is, is greater. Um, but it's also worth noting that the other sets, apart from the markets, were also available uh, at other retails, uh, retailers, uh, not just Lego. So you could potentially have additional discounts, which is exactly how I got them. Uh, I minimum at least got £50 off the recommended retail price and it, it, it was worth it for sure. So one thing I wanted to discuss is, is it worth it? Is it really worth £320? That's a lot of money to spend on plastic and on a toy. <laughs> <laughs> as, as a grown-up um, and really uh, to say should you buy it really I mean I've, I've done all the hard work for you so hopefully this video is of help if you if you like if you were like me I mean an houring um, whether we should get this uh, this set or not and add it to your city or even display all right catch you after the break <laughs> So I've just separated out uh, from this, the main line of connecting all the other sets, just to take a quick look at it. On first impressions, the size is very immense. I mean, two base plates worth. Um, it's quite tall as well. Uh, I mean, it's not tall as the city or the gardens. It's taller than the docks, but still it's, it's quite impressive from that point of view, from a height perspective. And of course the main think here with the skylight um this the the lift or the chairlift or whatever you want to call it the gondola i don't know <laughs> don't know the official name but that is really impressive the mechanism they've got in there to do that uh, was awesome and this is really the most uh, the selling point of the set and to be fair it looks pretty the bridge is great um the minifigure selection that came through was really nice as well. The stickers are fantastic. Um, not many people like stickers. I love them, I don't mind. I think the graphic design work that they did on all the Ninjaga sets have been fantastic and this was um, no different. I really like this um, promenade kind of area here, um, with especially with these uh, uh, fence kind of pieces, this garage door in, the, in that nice neon green, that was really cool. Um, the build of this bar area and club area where you got a pool table, drinks, that was really cool. This little sushi uh, kind of hut 
uh, was really it was really a cute build to do as well one uh thing that i love the most and i'm so immature and my son loves this as well is of course the famous uh toilet where you press it flush it and the poop does come out uh we had a lot of fun <laughs> doing that we just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and you know what it was it was fun it was really really fun the whole mechanism when i was building it to to make that possible is really impressive that it goes all the way down here and through here through the different channels that was great this um uh, again the the transparent light blue uh, tiles for the water work is just so nice it always impresses me because that's one of the things i love uh, about the ninjago city is that it is a city on water uh, and it's great it's just beautiful i love it and i, I want to create my own little cities in in the same kind of fashion um both angles are are okay i mean not just kind of this uh facing here but even if you very quickly swing around um even on this side it, it's a nice angle to see it um it's not too ugly at all um i love this the structure was really nice to build by the way it's still okay and it works quite well um so from that side the building experience um uh, was really fun i have to say it didn't feel like a big chore uh, at all um and it was really interesting to build um the mechanism for this and it's done quite well into the modules what i did really appreciate are the you know how you take these out and see the buildings this was really nice because you can't really lift off uh, um, the floors like you can in, in normal modulars but that was really cool and i really like this because this is what it's all about playing and creating scenes and this was really nice to ha still have that ability rather than building an interior and then hiding it away and you can't see it again you know it didn't make sense but that that was really cool the things that I didn't really like much about it was um, the first thing is it's a bit sparse. <laughs> this is supposed to be markets, and I correct me if I'm wrong, but I just see one market stall. I mean, so you got one little tea stand there, but it is just one uh, market stall here. Granted, you are free now to add in your own little market stalls here and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing and 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 modifying it to that sense to just to create a bit of a buzz in here um but the, it just seemed very odd that the whole set was about city markets and we've got just one market maybe it's just me um this even though i love it oh my god it is really <sighs> slow boom boom Boom. <laughs> it's like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll let you know in 10 minutes when it's ready. Huh? Um, even though the, the concept is great, uh, it is a bit slow, which is a bit of a shame. There is a way you potentially could um, speed this up. You can just take that cog out um, and maybe put another handle in here. So it's just easier to do and it goes far more quicker. Um, but I'm not sure what that would do for the tension um, of the set. So uh, just an idea um, if, if it really bugs you as well. Um, even though I loved these builds, uh, there wasn't enough. It was very simple. Uh, there wasn't enough. I mean, when I compare it to the city, which is so dense and all these little builds, it was it was a pleasure. Even in the market, a uh, garden, sorry. All of these sets, all of these little modules, was so compact, so nice. Um, I didn't get that essence here. It felt like the majority of the time I was building this, I was building the infrastructure to facilitate this and the traveling of the poop. <laughs> that, that's what it really felt like. So should you buy it? For me, there's one point that really stuck in my head was, even though we got a, such a large footprint, two base plates worth, lovely, uh, gondola mechanism there still didn't seem to be enough substance there and this is what really disappointed me um, the fact that I spent it was the most expensive set out of all of them you know, uh, by clear margin so I'm paying more money uh, for this but I'm still not getting I in what is perceived to me even though the piece count is greater um, more stuff for my money for the pieces I, I can't see it when I compare it to something like here, the, the city, and even the gardens, um, it felt such a um, intense 
uh, dense experience and the output is shown clearly. You've got everything going on here. It's tall, you've got but everything. So many different types of buildings and rooms and modules, compartments. It, it's awesome. But compared to here, to the market, there isn't that much there. I mean, apart from this bar area and the toilets and these tiny little sushi things, I mean, this area here, okay, it was, it was just something there, but they're so small. Um, it was either too spaced out, which needed to be to perform the gondola, um, but there's none of that compactness there. And when I think of a market in my head, I think of a bustling hive of activity and I don't see any of that there. I mean, the minifigures probably add that kind of activity, but I don't really see it. The additional thing is that um, if you didn't have any of these sets and this was the one to, you, you bought, I just don't believe it's even that good as a display. When you have it as a display set, there's nothing there really to, to wow it compared to something like the city or the gardens. You can easily have that as a just a standalone display set. It's great, but the markets don't doesn't really work as a standalone display. It needs the other sets to make it come alive. Um, and that's the only reason I personally got it, because I think it's a great addition to this whole city landscape. Um, and if I didn't have, honestly, if I didn't have um, the full range, I wouldn't get this at all, uh, in my opinion. Not uh, Certainly not a £320. Uh, worth. So I think the question really is, is what do you intend to do with it? Are you going to put it into your city? Then I think it is a worthwhile addition. There's a lot of modifications you can do and add things. And this is what Lego is all about, adding things, doing things differently. Um, but if you intend to, if you're a display model person uh, and not a city builder, then it's really hard to recommend in my personal view um, to have this as a standalone set. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. I mean, it's still better than any other set that uh, that probably is at that price point. Hundred percent, hands down. The problem is the bar has been set so high with city and gardens and to dock somewhat. I mean, uh, this one doesn't get much love. The docks. I, I personally love it. It's actually my second favorite. Um, the, the garden is actually my third favorite. City is my first, and, and this is my fourth now. So I would rank them. Um, but uh, this really works as a whole landscape. It's uh, the bar has been set so high between these other set. This was always gonna be a tough challenge to really compete with it. So I hope that's helped. If you're still hesitating about it, I hope my thoughts and, and my feedback has, has helped you make that kind of decision. Uh, but ultimately this is just my, <laughs> this is just my opinion and, and what my thoughts were after I built it and, and put it in, and in, into the city. Um, and I'm looking forward to actually now increasing um, the, the city landscape. There may be another one coming in the future, who knows, but I have room for another base plate worth, so oh, I really, really want to create my own mock um, Ninjago City style uh, for the city, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Okay, for now, take care of yourself, peace and love. Ciao, ciao.